The internet has evolved into an indispensable thing in society and daily life in it is more than two decades of existence. Between 2007 and 2013, the number of people utilizing the internet more than doubled globally. Not only it been much easier to use the internet, but the demand for it has also expanded significantly. Apart from that, Coronavirus, all known as COVID-19, has spread around the world. In 2019, this virus has affected humans. Like, as we know, before this, virus only circulated in animals. This disease or virus were originally from animals that sold at market work life in Wuhan, China, has been transmitted to people by eating the animal. This disease does not have any vaccine to cure people around the world. And if the person is infected with the virus, it may heal unless the person's antibody is strong and has no chronic disease. So, it is related with money? In fact, it is. Then, did physical money harmful during this pandemic of COVID-19? Did it relate to internet? And I guess there's a lot of things that play in your mind right now, right? Honestly, during this coronavirus outbreak, consumers prefer contactless payment option rather than physical money. It is because they were concerned that the virus could be spread through physical money. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Sitana Izzati bin Abdul Hamid. I am from BA2423E. Due to this topic, is there any problem when you use physical money? Now, let me tell you about that. From the recent coronavirus outbreak, the World Health Organization advised us to use as many digital payment options as possible. Money, as we all know, moves about a lot and may pick up all kinds of infections and viruses. China was discovered cleaning in some cases destroying its own currency to stop the virus from spreading. Another reason why currency is becoming increasingly useless, especially with the widespread adoption of COVID-19, this could this could permanently alter the way consumers spend cash. It also, when you use digital payment, which is cash, you must you must hold up the queue at the supermarket by counting out pennies and then trying to find homes for change. You also must do any math in your head on the go, which is crucial to consider if you haven't taken fundamental math lesson in a long time. Finally, you need to bring a large wallet to put the money which can lead you in dangerous situation. Indeed, as you are aware, every problem must have a solution. But what is the solution to this problem? The solution is, I believe, that electronic payment methods are increasingly replacing conventional modes of payment that require personal contact between buyers and sellers, thanks to advancement in telecommunication. Online financial transactions that use some type of digital financial device such as e-tokens, e-cash and checks are referred to as electronic payment system. Individual and corporation alike profit from electronic payment system. Thus, it is considerably easier and safer to use, particularly during this current pandemic. Not to add the benefit of electronic payment, which must be numerous, and I believe you would be interested in knowing about it as well. The benefit for electronic payment, it is more secure for individuals who wish to maintain a social distance. To begin with, digital payment enables consumers to obtain the goods and services they require while socially isolating or quarantining themselves. They can do so by placing on online orders and having the goods delivered to their home. Customers might feel more secure without having a deal with other people. It can also save money. 
both businesses and people benefit from e-payment system since they minimize costs. Businesses save money on operational and processing costs mostly because of technologies cost reduction such as the use of internet and the purchase of computer and other machinery. Paper and shipping costs are reduced as is the time spent completing personal transaction. These savings are frequently passed on to clients who pay lower fees when moving money or making payments. Customer also saves time dealing with personal transaction, which is time consuming in traditional payment system. There's no need to handle currency or touch terminals. It is because digital payment techniques like QR code and FC communication and the increasingly popular facial recognition can reduce human touch and reduce the likelihood of COVID-19 spreading. When shopping in store, customers are not required to touch anything other than their purchases. Lastly, is e payment come in a variety of forms because electronic payment system enable financial institutions, enterprise and the government to provide clients with a range of payment methods automated teller machines at the end. Tribe cards, credit cards, mobile banking and bill payment over the phone are all examples of this system. Traditional business payment methods rely on a small number of businesses outlets spread over many areas. Due to this limit customers coverage, systems that rely on e-payments are accessible to a wide number of clients via internet services. In the end, providing as many contactless payment choices as possible, including the option to pay bills online, is a crucial method to support clients during this pandemic. For your knowledge, Lim Guan and the Finance Minister has stated the, that literacy in e-payments is a key component given the evidence benefits in financial management. In this regard, he is also encouraged by the planned engagement that Paynet and Cyberview hope to have with the Cyberjaya community. The minister also the minister also stated that creating a cashless society society is consistent with Pakatan Harapan's aim to restoring public trust through institutional reforms and the elimination of corruption. So that's all for me. Thank you.